father will let me hide And dance with my mother and me and then Spin me around to a fence Then up the stairs he would carry me And I knew for sure I was loved if I could get another chance, another walk, another dance with him, I'd play a song that would never, ever end. How I love, 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 dance with my father again. <laughs> it's another Pet Live session here on our Facebook, and of course, we have today. Joining us here today is our very special guest, American Idol's first runner up, Jessica Sanchez! Yay! Thank you, thank you. But you're now, now known as. as Jess. Jess. Jess, for sure. Just, I wanted to keep it really nice and simple. I'm actually a very simple girl, so this kind of is perfect for me. And uh, Jess is actually my initials, Jessica Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so what you performed earlier, it's one of your most unforgettable performances. Yeah. Thank you. American Thank you so Idol. much. Yes. yes. Yeah, back when I was 16 years old on season 11. I know, I was so young. <laughs> How old are you right now? I'm 24 now. Mm -hmm. Very young. Know. Very that young. Makes me, yeah, yeah. Still young. Still young. Yeah. But <laughs> it was a long time ago, it's, yeah. It's been seven years, but you still get a lot of requests. From when, of course, when <laughs> yeah, when yeah, of course, of course, especially here in the Philippines because I had so much support out here when I was on Idol. So, of course, and you know that the Filipinos love ballads, so yes, yes. yes. Sure. of course, I get lots of requests for the Idol Idol songs I used to do. So, you often visit Philippines, right? But, yes. um, how does it feel to be back here again? It always feels like uh, a new experience every time I come here. But it also feels like a second home for me because I come here a lot and sometimes I spend like a month or two months at a time here. Um, and like I said, like people here are just so welcoming, they're so sweet, and my grandparents actually live out here too, so it even makes it even more welcoming for me to be here. So yeah, it's just like a second home. So when I'm was the excited. last time that you were here before this visit? It was actually a couple months ago, I believe. Wasn't that long ago, yeah? For Idol Philippines. Yes, for Idol Philippines. As you yes. went home again. Yeah, yeah. So and I fly then, back and mm -hmm. forth. But I'm thinking about getting like a place out here. I can be out here a lot. Wow. So we'll be expecting more. More. Possibly. Um, Jess. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> So by the way, Pepsters, if you have questions for Jess, just comment them on the comment section and we'll try to ask those questions later. So So when you visit Manila, what's what's usually the first thing that you do? Well, when I land, I'm like super tired, surprisingly, from the <laughs> long trip. So I go straight to sleep. Um, but then the second thing I do, like the, the one thing that's on my mind is always like getting like mango shakes or like oh fresh cut mango or just Eating the Filipino food because I miss it out here. It's it's so different from like here and then it out there. You know, yes, okay. it's so authentic out here. So I think food is one of the things. And then of course I gotta see my grandparents. What's your favorite Filipino food? I love lumpia. I love pancit. Oh lumpia! Yeah. Everybody loves lumpia. I love lumpia <laughs> <laughs> and pancit, and I love sinigang baboy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably one of my favorites because it kind of helps my voice too. You know? The warm oh, soup. Yes. The warm, warm soup, warm. yeah, yeah. You're like, how does the pork help? <laughs> yeah, no, the warm soup helps my throat, yeah. And then you visit your grandparents in Bataan. Bataan. Yeah, yeah, so they're from Bataan. I've only visited maybe like once or twice, but it was always like really short trips. So now that I'm going to be here for a longer amount of time, I'm going to have some days off. I'm going to see, see them, put them in Bataan. And go to the beach. And go sure. to the beach. For sure, <laughs> yeah. right? Get some relaxing time, yes. Because we have a lot of ano, beautiful beaches yes. here in, ano, in the Philippines. Uh, I've been to Boracay once and I was there for three days and I didn't want to leave. It's beautiful. So I want to go to Palawan one day soon. Mm. Yes, oh, it's I very really, beautiful there. I want to go so bad. So hopefully this trip, if not, then the next. 
Okay, so it was I think during the start of 2019 that you thought of um, reinventing yourself, mm-hmm. and then you cut your hair, yeah, short, yeah, after yeah. having it long. I know. So I still. I did a lot of things to my hair. So my hair was like this kind of color, but it was longer before. And then I just, I just wanted to dye it red. So I just dyed it red. And then I wanted to go pink, but with red hair, it's hard to like strip it out. It kills your hair. So I was like, you know what? I don't want red hair anymore, so I'm gonna just have to chop it off. So that's where the, that's where the short hair came from. I was like, I have to do it to keep my hair healthy. And then I went from pink the purple to this. <laughs> and right now it matches in your outfit. Yeah, now you know I had to color coordinate. <laughs> but for girls, right, um, usually we cut our hair if there's like a big thing happening in our life. So is there like a special story behind it? I feel like honestly, I'm a very private person, but my boyfriend knows I'm a dramatic person as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I have a lot of dramatic moments in my life where I'm just like, I just want to change something. I just want to do this. So I think that was one thing where I was like, I just want to color my hair red. And I just want to, I just want to cut it off. And I want to color it pink. So yeah, I'm a very dramatic person. And I, I'm excited to finally write my own music because you guys will kind of get an, a little bit more of an image of who I am. And I'm going to start doing more like vlogs and stuff like that. And being here too, you guys will kind of see my personality a little bit more. I am a lot more than what you guys have seen on Idol and stuff like that. So I'm super excited for that. And then, can you share with us um, the latest single that you've written? Um, yeah, for Is that the very first song that you wrote? Okay, yeah, so I released two songs recently this year. One was called Love You, and then the other one was Angel. And those are both love songs <laughs> about my boyfriend. And um, they're super cute. They're more of the kind of the direction I want to go into, like more R&B, more like soulful kind of stuff. Um, I'm excited to... Uh, for you guys to hear more stuff. And then I'm also uh, thinking about some collaborations out here as well. Um, but I did just uh, write and release a song with Front Row called Front Row Cares, which was super exciting because I got to perform it in front of 55,000 people the other yeah. night, oh my gosh. which is insane. <laughs> it's insane. So, I mean, that was such a blessing. And um, I just want to give a shout out to Front Row for you know having me be a part of their family and having me write their song for their Front Row Cares. Was that also the largest show that you did here in the Philippines? I think it was the largest amount of people I performed mm-hmm. ever. Uh-huh. Yeah. So that was yeah. amazing. It was an amazing feeling. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was crazy. So when you write songs, it's usually when you know um, you feel in love or inspired. Yeah, you know, that's the other thing too. You know, you guys saw me back when I was 16 years old. And when I was 16, I was so young. And I don't think I went through a lot of experiences at that age. So, you know, I was singing a lot of covers. I still sing covers now, but what's exciting about me writing music is that I've experienced a lot of things in those years since Idol. So uh, you guys will get to see uh, my ups and my downs through my music, which is uh, really, really cool because like I said, I'm not really, I'm a very private person, but I'm, I'm super happy that I'm going to be able to open up and be very vulnerable with my So what, what is it like growing up in the music scene? Because you were only 16 when you started. And now you're 24 and you're still here. It's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have gray hair yet, you know. <laughs> but you get a lot of pressure from Yeah, of course. You know, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, being in, in front of the cameras, in front of people, the expectations, you know, always having to make a good impression. It's really, really hard. But, you know, it's what I signed up for and I'm, I'm very blessed to be able to share my gift and to do what I do. I love what I do. But like with everything, there's pros and cons. So, yeah, it's, it's stressful, but it's so much fun and I wouldn't change it. A lot of people were so happy to see you perform in the finals of Idol Philippines yes. some months ago. <laughs> yeah. And how does it also feel seeing a new idol? And it's this time it I comes from the Philippines. She loved, came from the Philippines. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Um, what I really loved about it is that I feel like there's so much talent in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. I feel like as soon as a baby pops out, they start singing. You know? <laughs> Honestly, like I feel like I see all these kids and they're belting, and they like I'm like, dang, these kids sing better than I do. You know, sing they they sing better than these people that have been in the industry for such a long time. It's insane. 
So I'm happy that there's another platform, you know, like a branch from American Idol here in the Philippines, Philippine Idol, that gives these artists and these upcoming, these upcoming talents a platform to, to showcase their talent, to showcase their gifts. So I think it's awesome, and I was happy to be a part of it. And we're also able to talk to Mr. Jean and all the people there in Idol. Yeah, I, I was, um, I think I, I said hi, you know, I, I came for the finale, and the finale for our first season show is insane. Uh, you know, everybody's running around, there's a lot of pressure, there's, there's a lot of things are moving, a lot of, you know, the gears are turning, so I wasn't able to have conversations with much people, it was a very in and out thing, um, but I have, you know, spoke to the past, and, you know, I'm, I'm excited to be able to be here in the Philippines for a long amount of time. A longer amount of time so I can actually build relationships with the other artists out here. I also had the chance of performing with the winner Zephanie and ASAP yeah! together with other yeah. Lala. Lala and Ella. Yes. With her Divas Her Age. Yes, they are amazing. And that's exactly what I mean that these these kids are freaking belting sound amazing and they're doing these runs and they're so technical with their with their singing. It's it's so mind boggling. One, I'm proud to be a Filipino because, because there's so much talent out here. And two, it's just, it's really cool to come out here and, and, and just experience everybody singing. It's so amazing. Like, yeah. What made you decide to um, stay longer this time around here in Manila? Well, originally I was supposed to go home for Christmas. But this time we extended because this is the Christmas season and it does get pretty busy and, you know, everybody loves singing and then there's probably a bunch of events going on so we're just kind of like booking and I, I kind of wanted to be here and experience my first Philippine Christmas. So, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. it's your first. My first, yeah yeah yeah. So I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really big on Christmas back in the States. Like it's a must. I'm like I have to go home. I have to be by the tree with the presents. I love like <laughs> gift wrapping and the stockings like but I'm happy to be able to uh, experience Oh, but you're going to miss White Christmas. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Now it's hot Christmas. <laughs> oh, but no. No? Sometimes it's also cold here. Oh, especially when okay. the Christmas is coming in December month. Oh, I want to experience that. Would you consider um, getting into acting as well? You know, I've thought about it. And I've actually done a few casting calls back in the States. The States. Yeah, for some really, really big things. Mm-hmm. Because I had... I was with, a, with an agency, CAA, that was, you know, booking me. They, they are so connected with all these big things, like Transformers and all this crazy stuff that I would go audition for. I wouldn't say that I'm an actress. You know, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm, my lane is more singing. Um, but I definitely want to tap into it later on in my career. Even if that's sooner than later, I would, I would love to, to be able to do that. I think it does take a little bit of time for me to kind of, like, practice and stuff like that so possibly you might be seeing me like you know start to act and stuff like that I wouldn't be opposed to it and we still remember you appearing on Glee yeah oh my gosh (laughs) there's been so many things that have happened that I kind of like it it just passes my mind it's crazy sometimes I forget that I was on Glee and and all that crazy stuff yeah (laughs) how was that it was amazing it was amazing yeah after right after Idol I got the call and to, for, for them inviting me to, to Glee. And uh, for it to be like, me 16 and never have acting skills, you know, and them calling me to be a part of the show, it was insane. And like I said, I, I just feel really blessed to be able to be, I don't know, to have that platform and to have made it that far. Show and have all these afterwards. And without that, you know, without the, the support of the Philippines, I I think that's another reason why I'm happy to be spending my time here and extending. Mm-hmm. Kind of thinking about moving over here or getting a place out here so that I can spend more time here to kind of show face a lot more and give more time and energy that gave so much time and energy. How about here in the Philippines if you were offered if you are offered to do something like a short acting stand for Let's say, maalala mo kaya, do you know that show? I don't! <laughs> Where they feature it. it. I would be! Yeah, I feel like it would be really, really fun. Especially since I'm getting uh, a Philippine uh, Tagalog teacher. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> I'd be like, once I get the Tagalog down, I feel like I'd be super down to start the acting. Yeah, I would definitely be down. I think that'd be really fun. But before the acting side, you're also doing shows here in the Philippines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your, during your stay here. Yes, yeah. So I'm doing a show with Lance and Lucas. The runner, the runner ups from uh, from Philippine Idol, and uh, we're doing two shows: one uh, on the 22nd of November at the New Frontier, and then one on the 29th at the Waterfront Cebu. So that's super exciting. I'm really, really excited for that to hear and perform with them. Aside from seeing them during the Idol finals, have you met with Have you met them? And it's been uh, very brief. I feel like they're super busy, and I'm mm-hmm. super busy, so it's been very, very brief. But I love them. I love their voices. What are the songs? Can you share with us the songs that you're yeah. gonna? I don't think I can. I don't. But it's a mix of like love songs and then the. Dance. It's like a mix of like fun, but ballad. It's like a whole. You know, you're gonna get those touchy moments. Wow, ballad moments, and you're gonna get those like, dancing. Yeah. yeah. What do you enjoy more? Like you seeing a whole new world, and then there's also like before the one with Neo is. I think, mm-hmm. like a uh, dance to yeah. like that. What's, what's your preference? I feel like, I it, I guess it just depends on, you know, yeah. and the audience. For very, like, uh, prestigious, high-end events, like galas and stuff like that, I'm very used to, you know, being all dressed up in gowns yeah. and then yes. going on stage and singing, I will always love you and, and I am telling you and, you know, giving them all of that and <laughs> extra sauce um, but for like you know uh, for the young young people I love just getting up on stage and dancing and feeling the energy and making sure that everybody has like an amazing time and forgets all their problems at home and just is there in the in the moment and just having the time of their life so it just depends on the, on the, on the event yeah what do you usually listen to right now like your top three favorites I listen to like a lot of r and Mm. Yeah, oh. I listen to a lot of R&B. Uh, I don't know if you guys listen to her. Mm. H-E-R. She's half Filipino. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Half Filipino, half black. But she, yeah, her, she's R&B. And then there's like Daniel Caesar, Summer yeah. Walker. So like that's the kind of stuff I listen to. Very like mellow, so chill, soulful R&B kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> very romantic. Yeah. yeah, I'm always in my feelings. Uh, that's, that's a problem for my boyfriend. I'm just always in my feelings. Yes. Okay, so let's read some questions from our pep stores. Let's do it. That's how we call our fans, the pep stores, our viewers. Oh, the pep stores. So pep Star Nico has a okay. question. Okay. What is your craziest fan experience? Have oh you had God. any crazy encounter with a yeah, fan? Yeah, of course, of course. I feel like every art- artist has. <laughs> so um, I have like this uh, group of fans that are that call themselves lesbians. Mm-hmm. It's like just girls, yeah. And they're like lesbians for dress, <laughs> just <Okay>. beings, right? <laughs> so I, this was a couple years ago, like a yeah, a few years back, and. These girls came to the hotel and they were like, oh yeah, like can you sign all my things? And they got into a line. I was like, of course, of course. And this one girl wanted me to like sign her like bra. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so that was the craziest for me. So I haven't gotten anything too, too crazy. But yeah, that was that was probably the most intense for me. Well. <laughs> we usually get that. I mean, here, those kind of stuff from like a male artist, right? Yeah, right. Jesbians, you know? Yes. <laughs> Women empowerment. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, we're still looking. Okay. Oh, he, it's not a question. It's from Romar saying that he, he or she, he loves you and he loves your songs. Dance with my father and I am telling you and I will always love you and stuttering. I love you, Romar. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> before we read other comments, let's okay. proceed first with our pep pep live challenge. Okay, I'm scared for this one. So this challenge okay. is called the playlist challenge. Okay. Okay, so we'll give you situations. These are very simple situations, and you'll just 
sing a song that you feel like okay comes to mind yes mm-hmm. or if it fits the situation if it fits okay okay the first situation is when you are in love I'm in love. Yes. Yes. Um, like right now, you're very much in love. <laughs> yeah. You know what song I listened to when I first started dating? Is Best Part by her. I don't know if you guys know. You don't know, babe, when you hold me and kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing. And it don't change. I had it my way. You will know that. You are. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that part is such a beautiful oh, song. Yes, I love that song. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Uh, if the the recent one is in love, broken hearted. Broken heart. Like when your boyfriend. Needs yeah. You. Oh. Okay. Um. I'd rather go blind by Etta James. Somebody just brought up that song, but yeah. yeah. Something told me it was over when I saw you and that girl walking. That's actually I'd rather go blind. Something deep down in my soul said cry. When I saw you and that girl walking. I would rather, I would rather go blind, boy, than to see you walk away from me. There you go, that one. <laughs> I'd rather go blind. I think you'd be able to a song like for um, a heartbreak. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you had any heartbreaks in the past? Like I said, I'm a very dramatic girl. So, you know, when me and like, even the little arguments that I get in, I'm like, I'm ready. Let's, let's write a, uh, a heartbroken song right now. Let's do it. <laughs> so yeah, even like the little arguments that I'm in, I'm like super in my feelings. And I'm like, you, you know, that in a song. yeah, I'm a very passionate person. So even like the smallest amount of feelings is mm-hmm. like, amplified. So if I'm like in love, like if I'm feeling love, it's like a lot of love. If I'm feeling Sadness, it's a lot of sadness. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. That's good, though. So I can, like, kind of transfer it into my yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. okay. For our third situation, like, if you have a hidden desire or crush towards someone that you like. And you cannot tell that someone. Directly. Yeah. Mm. That one's, like, very specific. That's very specific. Um, is there any way I can pass? For a song that you want to sing for someone that, you know, um, you can't tell that person yet how you feel. The Pepsers are treated to a mini concert oh. live. <laughs> oh, this one, this one is very simple, but I don't know what oh, song guys. will you choose okay. or will you sing. Seeing your favorite food. Oh my gosh, my favorite food. <laughs> if I, I would always love you to my favorite. Stay, I would only be. Your way, so I'll go. But I know I'll think of you every step of the way.
That's the most soulful feeling. Whenever you see your favorite food. Right, exactly. What were you thinking? Burritos, tacos, back in San Diego, yes. Our lumpias, all those, both sides of my culture just were <laughs> flashing before my eyes. Okay. And for the last one, song to uplift yourself when you're feeling down. Uh... Broken down and tired Little life on a merry-go-round Can't you find it, fight it I see it in you, so we're gonna walk it out Ooh, mountains We're gonna walk it out Ooh, mountains And I'll rise up Rise for the day, rise up, rise on the rise up, mountain and mountain times again. Dang, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> My bad. But yeah, rise up. <laughs> we have one bonus question for that playlist challenge. Okay. The song that defined your American Idol journey, or whenever you think of your American Idol journey or experience, that song will come to your mind. Oh, okay. Um. And I'm telling you, oh, my God, you're the best man I ever know. There's no way I can ever go. No, no, there's no way. No, 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 no way I'm living without you. I'm not living without you. I don't want to be free. I'm staying. I'm staying. And you, and you, you're going to love me. And I'm All telling right. you, yes, with Jennifer Holiday. Thank you. What are your musical influences now? I mean, has it changed since? When Your you idol days. Um, well, I feel like forever. My music, my biggest musical influences will always be Whitney Houston, Dion, Jennifer Holiday, Mariah Carey. Those people are like solid. They're going to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I also love like uh, her and Beyonce, and I love Rihanna. And that's just for like their style. Beyonce is a vocalist, okay? She's a vocalist. But I love like, you know, just uh, who she, you know, the her, how she portrays herself in the media and everything like that. I love Rihanna's style, like the style of her music. So I guess it's just different things from different artists that I love to, to take and, and watch and soak in and, and kind of learn from. And what are the collaborations have you, what's the most memorable for you? Like in the U.S. and then here in the Philippines? Um, I guess the... Um, Hmm, let me see. The biggest like collaboration as far as like singing like live with is always going to be Jennifer Holiday for me because I used to listen to her when I was a little girl and I freaked out. I low-key wanted to cry when I found out that I was going to sing with her because they made it a surprise. They were like, Jess, we don't, you don't know who you're going to sing with. And then I walked into the door and she was there and I was like, oh my, like my childhood is freaking me. So her, <laughs> her in the U.S. And then um, out here in the States, um, hmm. I would say more said when I did oh, uh, when I did uh, what was that song? It was the Demi Lovato song. An okay. ASAP. Yeah, an ASAP. Yeah, I, I love her. I love her voice. So I think I think that was a really fun uh, collaboration. I hope to perform with her again soon. It's amazing. And I think she enjoyed that um, performance as well, well. Yeah. because she said a lot of good things about you. She's when amazing. Maybe did that um, collaboration. Oh my god. And since you are staying longer, <laughs> yeah, how yeah. far that you will Hopefully, have yes. so, Listen, like I said, there's so many amazing artists out here. So I'm very open to collaborations with every single one of them. <laughs> Being able to do all those stuff, like, you know. I can't, honestly. I, can't. <laughs> I feel like it hasn't, like, at, there's, there'll be moments when I'm just maybe like at home and I'll just be sitting there just on my phone and it'll just hit me. I'm like, I, I did this and I did that. And it's, mm -hmm. it's insane. It honestly is. And life just moves so fast. And especially when you're working so hard and 
every day is like filled with stuff. It's kind of hard to digest everything. But those moments that you're just sitting there, yeah. it, it kind of soaks in and you're like, dang, like, I'm, I'm very blessed. So. And you know what, um, Pepsters, even after all Jess's um, experiences and, you know, um, background in the music scene, meeting her now, you know, it's, yeah. it doesn't uh-huh. seem like so easy to talk to. And Thank you. Thank it's you still so very much. down to earth. Thank you, know? you. I try to be. That's what I like. Me, I tell myself all the time. I just like, That's my one rule is that I didn't grow up with money or anything like that, kind mm-hmm. of. You know, very uh, like the lower kind of end, not very financially stable. With my family, um, so it was always a goal for mine. You know, to if I was blessed to be a blessing to others, and I'm here. This is my purpose to share love, to share my talent, and so I try to keep myself as grounded as possible, be as humble as possible, but still work hard towards my goals. So try to be that person that I would want somebody else to be. You know, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's so get easy. carried away with it's things. It's very easy. It's Especially very with easy. that popularity. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're so <laughs> happy to have Jess here with Thank us. You. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Invite me back anytime. I would love to come back too. <laughs> You're always welcome. Yes. yes. And, well, aside from that, what are also the things that you were looking forward to in your stay here? Yeah. Um, Since it's a very long stay. Of course the food, you know what I mean? I love the food, so I'm already enjoying the food, but I, I think I'm looking forward to kind of exploring the Philippines a little bit more. I'm looking forward to, to learning the language a lot more, um, meeting more of the artists, building more relationships. Like I said, the people that I've met here are a lot, like some of them are a lot more genuine there, you know, in the States. So I, I'm just excited overall for, for everything, just to have an, a new experience here in the Philippines, like I do every single time. Was that also the experience that you got when you had an appearance in ASAP? Yeah, yeah. Like with everybody, every single time I see these uh, these other artists, like I said, ASAP is crazy. Everybody's running around, everybody's doing their own thing. Oh, it's, it's very it's <laughs> very hard to, to have a conversation, like a full-on conversation and ask them like, oh, how you been and stuff like that. But everybody seems so so genuine. Everybody seems very, more, like, very loving, warm-hearted, very friendly very family oriented so I feel like we're all one big family anyways, you know so I'm excited now to hopefully be able to uh, link up with these people and actually maybe on our free days hang out with them and stuff like that and maybe get into collaborations and work on music and yeah and stuff like that <laughs> Jess will bring more inspiration um, to um, her fans now that you're here in Manila I hope so and also ask because you, you also met with another Pinoy Pride last Saturday, Kathy Rona Gray, yes. for Miss Universe. Yes, yes, yes. How was the experience? She is, of course, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but she's really, really sweet as well. And her team is actually from the States too. So we, you know, got to connect like that. And it was just a very, like, easygoing kind of uh, connection. You know, so I, I think it was really cool. We, we actually uh, shared dressing rooms, which was really cool. Yeah, I just, I really like it when people are very like, down to earth, very easy going. So, and I haven't really run into anybody that hasn't been. All good experiences. All around. <laughs> okay, so. Do you have any message or um, what would you like to tell your fans? Like, and where can they follow you yes. on Twitter and Instagram? Um, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for all of your love and support, all the Pepsters out there. Thank you for watching. Um, if you guys want to come see me live, I'm inviting you guys to come see, uh, watch my show in the spotlight with Jessica Sanchez with Lance and Lucas, November 22nd on uh, at the New Frontier, and then November 29th at the Waterfront Cebu. But I love you guys so much. I uh, hope to see every single one of you very, very soon. And uh, yeah, love you, love you. And I love how she said Pepsters. Yeah. So, <laughs> because there are some that, you know, it comes first because they don't oh, know. Okay, yeah. It's not something it's, I love not that though, Pepsters. Pepsters. It's so cute. I love it. I love you, Pepsters. <laughs> Thank you for being with us here of today. Course. Yes. Of course. Thank you so much for inviting me. And before we end this um, Pep Live, I would like to announce it. We only have another Pep Live after this. The third Pep Live is not happening yet, so okay. 
Yon, that's only our announcement. <laughs> and before we end this, of course, you would want to hear another song from you. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Some people live for fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Yeah. Some people play the game. Some people think that the physical things define words within and I've been there before that life's a ball so full of the superficial and y'all sing the rest uh, <laughs> oh, I don't oh, think we can do that it's for the honor Jessica Sanchez oh no no second we're not singers oh no no Filipino is a singer. <laughs> Hidden inside, I guess. Oh my gosh. Once again, Pepsters. Jess yes. Sanchez. Thank you so much, Pepsters, for joining us. Go see us for our last top line session today. Thank you so much, Jess. Love you guys. To our next top line. Thank you. Love you.